Yo, what's up, homie? Let's dap it up real quick. So what is up and what is good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in full live high definition, it is your host with the most, Paul K2, back at you guys with a new episode of A Quick Thrift Fix. So I got two items up today that I am going to pimp out and customize, both of which I purchased at the thrift and both of which actually had some flaws on the frame. So the first piece I got up is this all earth tone beige Nike hoodie right here. Now I noticed that it had a couple of ink stains on the back looking like that little shit from Finding Nemo squirted all over this. But as you flip and dip on the other side, there are a couple of holes on the kangaroo pouch as well. And then the next item I got up is actually this essential all olive Ralph Lauren wool high fashion sweater. But it looks like a couple of moths or other insects went motherfucking free lunch line and just ate out this whole motherfucker. Ate out? What? Tripping. So basically, in today's episode of A Quick Thrift Fix, I'm going to show you guys how to Yeezy season the fuck out of a sweater and out of a hoodie. Y'all already know distressed items are popping and in style right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this transformative ass process. Let go. All right, so before the process begins, we're gonna need to go ahead and get into the supplies you are going to need. So first of all, you're of course gonna need a pair of scissors. I prefer a big giant pair, the power pair, and also a small precision finessing pair as well that's a little bit sharper. You also are going to need an X-Acto knife for punching precise holes. And then last, but certainly not least, if you guys wanna get fancy as I will with the hoodie, you're gonna need a thread puller as well. So that's pretty much all you guys need for the supplies. So the first thing you guys are gonna want to do is actually poke a hole in your garment now of course this first sweater is made out of wool bah. so I'm just going ahead and actually poking a small hole and what I realized is once I finger penetrate the hole I made it's very easy to actually stretch out the hole and make it a little bit bigger and then make it look nice and distressed that way now when distressing an item such as a sweater a t-shirt or a hoodie it's very important to arrange the distressings in clusters so you don't want this shit looking like a random ass piece of of Swiss cheese you don't want holes spread all throughout the piece and you definitely don't want a big hole where your nipple would be in case you got a fucking pepperoni PSP disc now also as you guys can see with the cluster technique it's very important to keep the clusters around the shoulder area that definitely makes the piece look a very very fucking dope and also around the rib cage as you guys will see as time progresses but right now y'all can tell I'm just poking a wide array and variety of hole sizes all throughout this wool garment so of course you want some bigger holes surrounded by medium sized holes and smaller holes in a nice little cluster so just think of it astronomically we're just making some big ass galley some small star clusters and then of course some just stars that are dispersed randomly throughout space as y'all can see I'm actually using my exacto knife and my scissors in tandem to actually variate the mark making or the hole size if you will so basically you just cut a little slit and then you pull with your fingers and as you guys can tell at the bottom I'm making some giant ass holes now some bigger holes definitely are accentuated at the bottom and can make the piece look really dope drawing the eye all the way from the shoulders down the garment actually onto your lower torso and uh you know you can even point the little clusters at your dick if you so desire and right here right now if you look precisely I'm just pinching the fabric and cutting tiny holes again you want to have some very small ones on the outskirts of the big ass galactic parties that are happening in regards to the distressing and then of course you want to flip and dip on the back and apply the exact same process again what I found to be dope personally is if you avoid the spinal cord region you just accentuate the back of the shoulders which looks really sick when the garment is actually on body and around the back of the rib cages in the lower back you guys of course can go straight down the spine if y'all think that looks cool because again this is a custom piece for your personal preference and of course do the exact same thing for the sleeves now what's really cool about the sleeves is that you can add really small holes you can add like almost claw scratch marks going down your sleeves and even over your shoulder blades that definitely will look fucking ill but of course on the sleeves that's more of an accent so do not put giant ass holes because it may look weird and your elbow may pop out and you ain't trying to hit that bow right now now are you and now here is the first piece all complete of course try on the garment and see if you need to apply more holes anywhere but if not then you are good to go now for the hoodie the material was completely different so I realized my cut and pull technique did not work as well because of course this isn't constructed out of wool however you still definitely should pull the holes that you are making just to stretch them out a little bit and definitely add some curvature and a little bit of distressing in regards to the fabric so I'm just going ahead and adding some big holes 
around the shoulders because I found out that looked dope on the first garment. So I just like applying clusters over there. And of course, sticking to the rib cage slash around the fucking lower left ventricle of your heart area. Now, of course, I wanted to add some around the pockets and the physical pocket of this garment actually had a hole in it. So you already know that it would look super ill to have a hoodie with actual holes all up in the kangaroo pouch. And if you look carefully, you guys can tell I'm actually using the side of the scissor blade to distress the item a little bit more. That is another key technique. You also can just physically stab the shit out of the garment to create small holes, which I found out it definitely does work on this piece. On the back of the hoodie, there are a shit ton of ink skeet stains. So I went ahead and actually removed all of those. And while there are holes on the back of the hoodie, I was like, shit, we might as well put some holes on the side as well. So of course, that is what your boy did. I just went ham and added a bunch of small holes. And I actually discovered a really dope technique from about the third grade when your teacher taught you how to fold a piece of paper in half and actually cut snowflakes out. If you do the same process with the physical material that the garment is constructed out of, you get a really nice ovular cut, which definitely adds some unity to the piece as a whole. So that is a cut that I went ahead and used to accentuate the whole piece all throughout. And I figured out that it actually looked really fucking ill, especially on the side of the hood. And if you do it on the outside, you got to do it on the inside and pretty much to every region, the armbands, the cuffs, and everything elastic in that area, shmeria. Then of course, you guys got to flip and dip on the back as well. I avoided the spinal cord region again, just because that's a big ass key to success. I added a few large holes on the back and definitely went ahead and cluster fucked the shit out of this garment. And then also on the bottom region of this piece, I went ahead and added giant holes again, because it's really dope and draws your eye all the way down the entire piece. Now hitting the sleeves again, I went motherfucking Swiss cheese on them shits and I just added a bunch of the ovular little formulaic holes that I developed on the hood region. Now last but certainly not least, to give this piece a next level motherfucking finish, I got my thread puller and I actually started detaching the elastic waistband. Now I found out that you can actually layer really, really well if you have that waistband removed. Shout out to the homie Blake. And also I was like, yo, I kind of like the waistband on the back but not on the front for layering. So what did I do? I just arranged it and cut straight down the motherfucking middle of the elastic waistband because what does that create? It creates a really dope strap-like effect. Shout out to the homie Storm on the piece and just adds another really sick element to the design of this custom ass distressed garment. So here is the whole thing. And without further ado, here also is a really dope epic lookbook I made showing off how the garments fit. Like, comment, subscribe, check the link to the song down below in the description and turn on some Premiere Audio equipment. Turn off the lights and let's get it. I'm